everyone and welcome to Homestead Tessie and today is Crock-Pot Wednesday and I'm going to share with you a really good family treat. From the diary of my grandma, Fanny, March 28th. Daddy helped to load Jacob Garber's tobacco. One and welcome to Wednesday. This is Crock-Pot Wednesday, and I'm going to share with you a recipe that my daughter loves to make, and it is shepherd's pie. Hey everyone, so we have some ground beef in here. You can also use ground turkey. You can also use ground chicken. The meat depends on your taste. If you want more meat in your shepherd's pie, you can add more than a half pound. You can add a pound. If you don't like as much meat, you can use a half pound. So I'm only using about maybe three-fourths of a pound. We're going to fry this up, and in the meantime, we're going to cook our potatoes. The potatoes are from my garden and I have them cut in quarters like this and we're going to make mashed potatoes basically you're just going to make your mashed potatoes however you want your mashed potatoes that's how you're going to make them so we're going to work on this ground beef I'm going to add a little bit of dehydrated well, the and they would like to, to see me using dehydrated uh, food in my everyday meals and I do I do almost in every video so a lot of times they, if they don't watch my uh, Cheat Meal Mondays or my Crock-Pot Wednesdays, they're really missing out on this. Because I don't make a separate video just to add dehydrated goods, because I add my dehydrated foods on almost all my cooking. These are onions. I dehydrate it, and we're going to sprinkle some of them in. And it smells so good. I have to dehydrate some more. So there you go. That was dehydrated onions, and that is put in my ground beef. So those of you who really would like to see some of my dehydrated foods. I also add a lot of peppers to it as well, but I'm not going to today because this is shepherd's pie and I don't think I really need to add the peppers. So I'm going to go ahead, finish frying this up, and then we are going to add some gravy. Now I got this two for a dollar, so I'm just going to use this beef gravy. You can make your own gravy, you can use whatever gravy you have. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to assemble everything up and then I'll show you what it looks like in the, in the crock pot. The meat is frying up. I just want to share with you a little bit of something that I love. Just want to show you Mr. Froggy. Woohoo! I bet you didn't know that I collect frogs and I got this at the Dollar Tree. He's sore and his eye lights. Oh no! His, oh, there it is. His eyes light up. Hey! There's Mr. Froggy. Duh! In the back of it, I have to do... Ah, take two! And I wanted to share with you something that I love to collect while I'm waiting for my food to get ready. Here we go! Are you ready? Hello, Mr. Froggy! He's a solar light, and here's Mr. Froggy. I collect frogs. I just thought I would show you that. Put a little cuteness in my videos. <laughs> and the most whimsical look of the frogs the better so I just wanted to share with you Mr. Froggy because he's sitting on my counter in case some of you wonder what in the world is that Tessie you know you guys are really curious and I don't realize all of the times you look in the background and when I'm doing things and you you see everything that I don't even think about so I'm sure some of you guys are gonna put we're gonna find Mr. Froggy so woo, 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 woo. there's Mr. Froggy so we'll put him down on the counter and we'll get cooking so we add our three-fourth of a pound, not quite three-fourth of a pound of ground beef. And that ground beef was drained. You don't want to have the fat, so you want to make sure you always drain your ground beef. And to that we're going to add some mixed vegetables. Now I bought these mixed vegetables. Um, you can have any kind of mixed vegetables that you like. And I'm just going to pour in the amount that I think is right. This is not a set recipe. so. What we're going to do is we're going to add, we might add a little more. In fact, maybe I'll add the whole thing. That would be nice if I could add the whole thing. Because I thawed these out last night because I don't have any freezer space anymore. So, okay, that's great. To that we're going to add some gravy. So, I'm adding beef gravy. 
but you can add any kind of gravy that you want. We're going to add that to the vegetables and to the ground beef. And I'm going to put a little water in each of these jars of the gravy to get the rest of the gravy out. My mother always taught me to do that, to add water to your containers to get the rest of the food out. What we're going to do is we're going to mix it all up together. You guys have been telling me, Tessie, why don't you just mix up your stuff in your crock pot instead of it using a bowl and then making more of a mess. And I was like, I never thought of that before. So once again, you guys are teaching me. So we're mixing this all together. So it's ground beef and it's the vegetables and it's the gravy. I'm going to add a layer of cheddar cheese. Now we're not going to stir it anymore. We're going to add the cheese on top of it. Now all we have to do is wait till the potatoes are done and I'm going to whip up the potatoes, mashed potatoes, and then we're going to spread this on top of our crock pot. And we're going to bake it on low for about four hours. The potatoes are made and now we are going to go ahead and we're going to pour the mashed potatoes on the top. So we're going to spread the mashed potatoes all along the top. And this is what makes it a shepherd's pie. Now I made my mashed potatoes uh, fairly thicker because when they are heated in the crock pot they will become thinner. So you want to have your mashed potatoes a little bit on the thicker side. I'm going to get all of that out and then we're going to spread it nicely on the top just like this. Everyone, so the shepherd's pie is finished and my lovely daughter is holding the camera so she's here for eating. Say hi Michelle. Hi everyone. Okay, so we're going to get it out. Michelle, you want to point the camera down at the food? Everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey everyone, here's some other videos I thought you might enjoy. See you tomorrow!